speaking of ESPN, last topic of the day, then we'll go to callers or just head out of here. Oh, you're going to do this. I you? am going to do oh, it. Sign me out. But... <laughs> I'm just a little clowning. Come on. This is a bad pound for pound list. Yeah, you're, you're legit. Not happy with this. No, this, this is bad. Um, ESPN put out their cumulative, let's say, combined pound for pound rankings. Uh, number one, Vasil Lomachenko. Vasily Lomachenko. Shock. Number two, Terrence Crawford. Shock. Number three, Canelo Alvarez. Oh. Hey, I mean, that's surprisingly hot. And, and, and this for, was for taken ESPN. after the Kovalev fight? Like, this yes. wasn't done? This was after the Kovalev fight, yes. I thought it was going to be TFM <laughs> Lopez or something like that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Jacor Stevenson, yeah. Uh, well, luckily, they do do a, a tabulated system. It's not just like Dan Rayfield. He's a dude. <laughs> <Yeah>. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> um, luckily, it's not just Dan spouting off his opinions. Uh, Nayao Inoue at number four. Which is fine. That's actually respectable. Like, hey, shot, props to them for that one. Potentially accurate. Yes, yes. I will say that that is an accurate that, like that number. Even I agreed. Number five, Earl Spence. <laughs> Sorry, he's number six. Who? Turn that six up for you. Down. For you, Spence is number six. I think like no, he's, no, no. He's number five. But he should be six, is what I'm saying. Wait, well, yeah. no, no, he's not, and he shouldn't be. We're gonna get to that in a second. Let me okay. go, let me go through the list. Number six, Alexander Usyk. Number seven, Gennady Golovkin. Number eight, Juan Francisco Estrada. Okay, I'll give you props for that one. Number nine. Manny Pacquiao. And this is the one where we may have a, de- a conversation about. We're like, I'm not mad about it. I'm not happy with it. I will say that. So I'm not giving it any soundbite or air horn or anything because I don't know. I don't, I don't know how I feel about that one quite yet. Number 10, though, to round it out and to finish it, Mikey Garcia. And quickly, guys, because this was a a uh, score system, right? We, the number one guy is 10 points and you go down, that's how it scored, right? How we did it before, right, Rob? Um, all the people that uh, were a part of this, let me let me read everyone. The ESPN panel, Dan Rayfield, Andre Ward, uh, Timothy Bradley, Joe Tessator, Teddy Atlas, Steve Kim, Bernardo Palati, Eric Raskin, Nick Parkinson, N- uh, Nigel Collins, and Charles Manhon, and Salvador Rodriguez, sorry. These are all the people that made this list. These were the people that received points but didn't make the list, okay? Deontay Wilder received the most points but did not make the list. He received 13 points. Arthur Bedebeev received 11. Josh Taylor, 7. Oscar Valdez, 6. Sirikat <laughs> Sora Rungans VI, 3. Miguel Burchelt, 3. Leo Sanikers, two. Sean Porter, one. Kose Tanaka, one point. One. Shakur Stevenson, a guy that has never been a top 15 guy in his division, a guy that got a belt from a vacancy, got one point as well. The same as Kose Tanaka. Wait, is, did Josh Taylor get zero? Is Josh no, Taylor? no, Josh Taylor got seven. He got seven. Oh, okay. He got seven. He got one more than Oscar Valdez. One more <laughs> than Oscar Valdez. Okay. And half of what Deontay Wilder got. Like, I I don't even know where to start here, guys. Like, this is just so Well, bad. let me quickly tell you on the athletic, when the athletic mm. made their first pound for pound list just recently, it was. It was not. It was worse, probably. Coppinger. Uh, Pugmire and uh, who's the other guy? Uh, Rafe Bartholomew. Uh, Rafe, uh, Rafe Bartholomew. They were the three guys voting on the list. Pugmire voted. His list had Deontay Wilder at number eight. Pug and uh, uh, um, sorry, Coppinger and the other dude didn't even vote for Wilder. And in their commu- uh, cu- cumulative final definitive list, Wilder scraped into the list at ten. I wanted to. I was working on my list just 
you know, not knowing we were going to do this. I got my first seven in order. The last three, there's like four guys for three spots. I don't know what to do with them. But um, I got my first seven. Y'all want to hear it? Sure. Yeah, do it. Uh, as you're doing that, Rob, let's kind of quickly think of ours, if you can. <laughs> quickly. Yeah. Like, you can. Hey, no All one's right. holding this to you right now because we're just quickly uh, doing off um, the spot. But see first what off, Gary's is, and I'll chop it up. If Tanaka is not in you guys, is we're, we're fighting, like fist fighting. I'm flying to the UK. I'm flying to Texas. We're fist fighting if if Tanaka is not in any of you guys' list. Go, go He's to, one of the three of the last four guys. Like, I'll get to that, right? And which so is num- fine. Go to num- Texas first. <laughs> number one is Canelo. Number oh. two is Crawford. Number three is Inoue. Number four is Loma. Number five is Usyk. Number six is Spence. Number seven is Estrada. And then from there, the last. Four guys, I would say Taylor, Better Beef, Tanaka, and then who who was the uh, oh Mikey Garcia would be like I three of those last well, like easy, there's yeah. three spots for four guys and I don't know which ones I'm not down Mikey lost to a guy two weight classes bigger than him I'm not that down on him like Matt is but Matt never liked him in the first place really oh oh hey I'm Hi. we're back. Oh, no, this guy was list. Hey that guys. was amazing. No, 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 no. We, we we heard it all. We still could hear each other. Just for some reason, that video cut out there. Um, video. Huh. Look, I, you're right, Gary. I've never been as high on Mikey as a pound for pound fighter as other people are. Just not like Sergey Lipnitz giving issue for God's sake. Um, moving on though, let's talk about pound for pound though, because obviously it's been a fun debate. And we got cut off, Gary, on yesterday's show. The system dropped out as we're just getting into the debate of pound for pound. So. Quick, let me go over ESPN's shit list so we can make fun of it oh. briefly and then talk about our list because, again, ESPN's list is utter shit. Um, right now they have, number one, Vasil Lomachenko. Number two, Terrence Crawford. Number three, Canelo Alvarez. Number four, Nayao Inoue. Number five, Earl Spence. Number six, Alexander Usyk, which is a crime. Seven, Gennady Golovkin. Eight, Juan Francisco Estrada. For this perspective, Triple G just barely got away with a win against a borderline top 10 name. Estrada just beat a pound for pound, <laughs> like top three name in a rematch. Trash. Uh, yeah. Manny Pacquiao, number nine, and then Mikey Garcia at number 10. Also, Deontay Wilder received 13 votes. Arthur Bedebeev received 11. Josh Taylor, 7. Oscar Valdez, 6. Oscar Valdez received 6 votes. Tanaka received 1. Shakur Stevenson, a guy that picked up a vacant belt and who hasn't beat anyone in the top 10. It also got 1 vote on in comparison with a guy like Tanaka, who's the three-division champion. This list is just utter trash, and there's really no defense of this, to be honest. Guys, any any comment on the ESPN pound for pound list before we get into ours? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, Gary. Uh, I, I just wanted to add, first of all, like just as a whole, Estrada's got a better resume than Triple G. It's like, look, that, that's just <laughs> for sure. His only losses are to Rung Visai and Chocolatito Gonzalez, and then one really early in his career that we don't even need to talk to. Uh, how do you put Triple G ahead of Estrada at this point? Like, Estrada beat Beeman in his last fight, which is a borderline top 10 guy. He blew him out. He clearly beat him. Y- Triple G fought the middleweight equivalent of that and lost. Like, how do you put Triple G on your list? I, I don't understand that argument anymore. <sighs> well, here's the thing. I, I, I think here's what, like, I have to... <laughs> Think about it. Usyk's, it's not really Usyk. like we make peace with this, but it's those those rankings are made to bring in more money for the fights. So they want Triple G to be on that list because they want people to want to watch Triple G fights. I, I understand, so. but don't you have any respect for yourself, like your for your knowledge? Like if I came on the show every day and says Josh Franco is the best uh, 118 pounder in the world, facts. Like you guys would stop taking me seriously. Oh, right? in- like, instantaneously, yes. Okay. So, like, yeah. when you say Triple G, Oscar Valdez got six. Six votes. 
Do you think one person put him at four, or do you think just like a bunch of people? Put I'll, him look, on their I'll, list? I'll look. I'll look because we have the, we, have, we have, <laughs> they they broke it down like every person that voted their entire list. So I'll find who voted for Valdez. So keep talking if you want. It's at a certain. I understand. Like you have to and endorse your logo if you want to put Crawford and, and Loma higher on the list. Fine. But, like, do things reasonable. Don't be unreasonable and say Oscar Valdez is the top 10 pound-for-pound fighter in the world. Like, no. Yeah. And oh my, it's so frustrating because, like, the sheer hate for, like, a fighter that's not within your, you know, stable. Yeah, to quickly, go from Loma quickly, quickly. and Crawford Charles, to Canelo. Charles Monaghan and uh, Bernardo Palatti. Both put uh, Oscar Valdez in their top ten. One, I think it was at seven, and one at six, something like that. Could you imagine putting him at six? Or like eight? I think one <laughs> one was like eight, and one was at six, something like that. It was. Could, could yeah. you, you put him ahead of Estrada. That means, yeah, that's reasonable. Yep. Like, but, sorry, sorry, Valdez at seven and Valdez at nine. My bad. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Still, seven is ridiculous. Like and, at seven. And on, get this Pilates list. Okay, number one, I don't know who this guy is, Bernardo Pilati. Have you heard of him? No. Have any of us heard of this guy? No? Cool. Okay. He works at ESPN for some sake. I don't know how he got the job. Um, he put number one, Lomachenko. Number two, Earl Spence. <laughs> like these guys. No, no, hold the no, fuck let, let me let me keep about. going. Let me keep going. Let me keep going. Uh, number three, Terrence Crawford. Number four, Anue. Number five, Canelo. Six, Glovkin. Seven, Valdez. Eight, Wilder. Nine, Estrada. And ten Pacquiao. What? Does he watch so, boxing? Does he watch what, boxing? I don't know what that is. See, these lists are made for fanboys and for increasing popularity of fights. That's the problem with these lists. They're not really made based on what, like, what is re- the reality of the sport. Like, because top rank, nobody could dispute Canelo being number one at this point. Like, he just knocked out Sergey Kovalev two weight classes higher than he fights. Like, it's it's unreasonable. And to have Spence at number two with his resume is a joke. You could have Spence on your on your top ten. No, yeah, but you definitely can't. But two above Canelo when he did the <laughs> inverse of what your best win is. Or not your best win anymore. You beat Sean Porter. But your second best win. His second best win is Kell Brook. No, you're right. Sorry. Sorry. In name value, though, his second best second, win is yeah. Mike Garcia. Um, sure. Maybe actually his best win. In terms it of probably name is. Namesake, it's probably Mikey. Like Maybe. It probably is. But digression from that point, because that's not, not really the topic. Let's get into our top 10 pound for pound. Uh, who wants to go first? Who wants to go first? Anyone wants to bite the bullet? <laughs> I have you mine out. Go. Okay, go okay, ahead. go ahead. Go ahead. You want me to go first? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, do you want me to go from 1 to 10 or from 10 to 1? 10 to 1. That's always better. Number 10. And this Matt's not going to like this. Mikey Garcia. Number 9, Josh. Number 9, uh, Josh Taylor. Number 8, Tanaka. Number 7, Estrada. Number 6, Spence. Number 5, Usyk. Number 4, Loma. Number 3, Inouye. Number 2, Bud Crawford. And number 1. Virgil Ortiz. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Canelo Alvarez. Oh, that was, was good. Perfect. Um, definitely put it in the chat if you can, Gary. Uh, I don't know if you can easily do that if you put in the live chat on YouTube. I could do that. Um, that'd be fantastic. Just so the listeners can also see your list visually. It's always more helpful. Um, Foo, let's hear yours right, now. I'll, I'll rock with mine. Hang on one second. I was trying to put it in the chat for you guys real quick. Oh, well, I'll say it first. I'll say it, then I'll put it in there. All right, so going from 10 to 1. I feel like I have this guy underrated, but Estrada, Taylor, Tanaka, Spence, Santa Cruz, Usyk, Loma, Anue, Crawford, Canelo. The only one I have an issue with that is Leo Santa Cruz. The more and more I think about the top 10 pound for pound, he does not belong. I don't know, man. He's up there for me, but, but I think he could be removed very easily. That's the thing. He should be. And he is stepping up a weight class, which should almost. Like, that's kind of why I lowered Usyk a little bit. I need him to do more at heavyweight before I bounce him up higher, you know, again. So. 
All right. He re- he already beat Witherspoon, folks. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> and Tony uh, Bellew, man, come on. And Bellew, yeah. Uh, mine, number ten. This might upset some people. Earl Spence. <laughs> Sorry, you Texas fans and PBC fans. He's at number 10. Number 9, Josh Taylor. Number 8, Manny Pacquiao. Number 7, Kose Tanaka. Number 6, Estrada. Uh, Number 5, Usyk. 4, Crawford. 3, Lomachenko. 2, Inoue. And 1, Canelo. I think my list is obviously the best because it's mine. But... um, (laughs) Well, I'll say a couple of things to the chat. Tank Davis is not a pound-for-pound fighter. He's no. had one significant fight in his whole fucking career, and Better Beef could definitely be number 10 on my list. Yeah, Better Beef could slip in there. But I-, I wanted to pinpoint some of the names that were specifically on just one of your lists. So, uh, Fu, the name that's really exclusive to your list was Leo Santa Cruz. And Gary, I'm trying to remember, uh, what was yours? Ma- Mikey. Mikey, yes. And then mine would be, what, Pacquiao? Because no one yeah. else had Pacquiao, right? You guys didn't have Pacquiao on yours? No. Nope. So let's debate just those three names then at least, right? And not the rest. Because the rest we agree on. It's just placement that we disagree on. And that d- doesn't really matter, in my opinion. We all rank Canelo as number one. So that's the thing that's the most important. Um, why don't you guys think that Manny Pacquiao is a top 10 pound-for-pound pound fighter at this point in time? I'll ask you guys that question. Because that, that was my individual one. Uh, all right. Um, he's he's got the win over Thurman. The win over Broner is a good win. It's not a pound for pound type win. Mm-hmm. A- a- and then before that, y- you have like Matisse. Like okay, if I if, if you put him in with Porter, I think Porter beats him. If you put him in with Mikey, I think Mikey beats him. Right? I I think I don't think you're wrong because obviously he has the resume and he has the win over <laughs> Keith Thurman. So you you could wait. Wait you you think Mike I, Garcia beats Manny Pacquiao? The Manny Pacquiao, they just beat Keith absolutely. Thurman. Yeah. We may get that fight, and I think we are, so we'll find out. I think if Keith Thurman fights Manny Pacquiao again, Keith Thurman beats him. Who do you think wins in the fight, Keith Thurman or Mikey Garcia? Uh, Keith's probably too big for him. I think any top 147 just smashes Mikey Garcia. Including Manny Pacquiao. Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah, but I mean, you look at Pacquiao. Pacquiao is probably not that much bigger than Mikey. So size-wise, they're going to be about the same. You know what I'm saying? Like Pacquiao's not really a full-grown welter. I know he's fought there for a decade, but he's not really a full-grown welterweight. But he's beating full-grown welterweight. So why does it matter? He beat a full-grown welterweight. What do you mean a? He <laughs> uh, he beat Thurman. And that's the only welterweight he's ever beaten? He beat Thurman. I mean, beat Thurman. He beat Thurman, and he beat Broner and uh, Matisse. I mean, recently. As of... Obviously, you go back to Manny Pacquiao from who beat Margarito and Cole. Yeah, that fuck guy yeah. ice is Mikey Garcia. Absolutely. 100%. But that's not the Pacquiao that's getting in the ring anymore. But th- it doesn't matter. The Pacquiao that's still getting in the ring would still beat Mikey Garcia. Think about it. Earl Spence was able to use lateral movement to outbox... Mike Garcia for 12 rounds and beat him up with volume. You don't think the fellow Southpaw and Manny Pacquiao, who's a better boxer than Earl Spence, better lateral movement, uh, better volume, would be able to beat up Mike Garcia? You don't th- now, like, I, now I got to come up with a strategy in my head on how Mikey like, beats Manny Pacquiao. The but chat like- is fucking wiling but i want to answer this question for you real quick um manny pacquiao i think i'd have to give him too much credit for everything before jeff horn and not enough criticism for everything after jeff horn the thurman win was very good but i just wouldn't put him top 10 because i didn't have thurman top 10 realistically um i think if it really depends on what he does Going forward, uh, you know, but I would pick him over Mikey Garcia or any of those guys, definitely. Um, okay, so at least me and Fu are voting that that Manny Pacquiao on the top 10 pound for pound is a better choice than, let's say, Mikey Garcia, which is Gary's pick, right? Yes. Okay. Well, uh, Mikey Garcia does not beat 
Manny Pacquiao. No, Mike- Manny Pacquiao would probably look better against Mikey Garcia than Spence. He would probably stop Mikey Garcia. Like, he's because I think he would overwhelm Mikey. Spence I, isn't I, an old guy. Understand why y'all don't like? What's the beef with Mikey? Like, I, I know there Matt. No beef. He's just too small for one forty-seven. It's not a not. But Mikey. he's not really any smaller than Pac. Look, he's too small for Errol Spence, but Pacquiao's too small for Errol Spence, right? Like, Pacquiao's not the same mm-hmm. athlete he was a decade ago. Right? How how many weight divisions has Pacquiao won a, a championship in? I don't want to have that conversation because he didn't win a belt at forty five at uh, four fifty four. Like eight, but it's so not eight. Eight is such a, hey, who, a, cares? a who cares? Who cares? Who cares? He's still better than Mikey Garcia in every conceivable hey, way. It, like you have a, yet you have yet to bring puncher. up a hold on. You have yet to bring up a game plan for Mikey to win. You've yet to bring up any avenues of victory for Mikey Garcia to go down. Um, you've yet to say what Mikey Garcia does better than Manny Pacquiao. Until you answer some of those things, then it's it's hard to argue any of your points, Gary, because everyone made a point. Well, no, you didn't ask me what he does better than Manny Pacquiao. I, well, you, I'm gonna, you, you, I, you I brought it up. You, you said game plan that Garcia beats Pacquiao, and right? you didn't bring one up. Because you didn't Mikey, ask me to. quite well, honestly, I, I thought is you, too I, well, Gary, Gary, I thought you were then going to go on and explain maybe a game plan in your head because that's would be a, where you would next go to defend your point of Mike Garcia being in the pound for pound over Manny Pacquiao. I mean. Do you think he's a better boxer? Do you think he's a better hitter? Do you think he ha- can beat more guys at 147 than Manny Pacquiao? Like, what do you like? Give me the reasons why Mikey gets in, but not Pacquiao. And then, don't worry. Once we're gonna jump off this, then tackle Foo's awful pick of Leo Santa Cruz in the top ten. Yeah, I think Mikey Garcia is a better fundamentally sound boxer than almost anyone in the sport. I think Mikey Garcia is a better boxer than. Manny Pacquiao. But I, I in think, what ways do you what? think he has better what? lateral movement? Wait, I think wait. his timing is better. <laughs> I think his, his timing is better for sure, right? So if you his start, timing and distance. That's it. Like, his timing but but that's not true. That's what that's what Marquez did. And Marquez beat him three times. Like that's yeah. all that Marquez had. Marquez had a better timing. He could time Pacquiao and he beat oh. him three times. Where did that so time? Take the Marquez plan and apply it and, and apply it to, to, to Mikey Garcia. Like what did Marquez do better than Pacquiao. He boxed better than him, and he could tie him, so he could he could counter him, and Pacquiao doesn't like to be countered, right? Like first so- off, Mikey is not Marquez. Marquez. <laughs> secondly, sure. secondly, I don't even know if your underlying premise is correct that he has better timing and he's a better boxer than Pacquiao. I don't think it's better timing than Pacquiao. I especially, know, especially think hold, hold, hold on, let let because okay. uh, think about this uh, this uh, version of Pacquiao we see now. The ultra boxer version, right? Not the uh, the aggressor that's throwing himself into the combinations and throwing himself into the fire. We see a more reserved boxer first mentality, Manny Pacquiao now. You don't think that version is able to laterally move around the orthodox stance Mikey Garcia and sort of have the same lateral movement and game plan of Earl Spence and out volume and out boxing for 12 rounds? You don't see that? Like I, I, I still want to see how you think he beats him. Like I still want to hear that argument as well, because I don't because you brought up timing and he's brought up timing and boxing. I don't think that's even true that you can make that argument that he has okay. he has better timing than Manny Pacquiao. That just it seems ludicrous. That seems ludicrous to you. Yes. Well, that's the how thing... he beat Broner. That's how he beat. No. Um, but okay, Broner. That, that, that's how he beat Broner. Broner has that's Broner. how he beat Salido. Hold on. I, I mean, I hold, on, like... hold on. We just hold on. You you've already admitted that Mikey wouldn't beat Keith Thurman. Manny Pacquiao beat a world champion at 147, a legit 147 pounder, the undefeated champion, the guy that beat Sean Porter already, the guy that beat Danny Garcia already. He beat that guy, and you think that Mikey cannot beat him, and yet you think Mikey is more pound for pound than Manny Pacquiao. See, like I, I don't, I don't understand the thinking there. Can you explain that a little bit too? Yeah, recent, recent resume, recent resume. But the recent resume that- is better than Mikey Garcia's. I don't agree. Uh, I don't agree. I don't. I don't think. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It's Easter. Stop. Hold on. Stop. The best wins are Easter and what? Broner for Mikey. Easter and Lippinets. Oh, Dude, you you have routinely trapped tra- Broner. So let's teach it in. Or, uh, or since the comeback. none of those names you can you, you can combine the quality and the talent of all those names. And they're not Keith Thurman. Who who made more title defenses, Easter or Keith Thurman? It doesn't matter. It, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. You thought he's lost all the title defenses. I, I, I do. So, I, oh, boom! True. There you go. Why are you arguing a, a, for a fighter that you think a was a B level champion that lost all these title defenses? Why are you arguing that that's some pound for pound win when you know in your heart and you submitted he's not a pound for pound win? Okay, 
I didn't say it was a pound for pound. Well, win. we're talking about pound, pound for pound, pound here. Win. We're talking about pound for pound here. No. So if you're going to bring up wins, then bring up pound for pound wins. If you're not going to bring up pound for pound wins, then why are you bringing up him in a pound for pound discussion? Okay, who, who, give me Usyk's pound for pound win. I'll wait. Uh, he unified an entire division. Okay, give me his pound for pound win. He unified an entire division. Are you going to give me a pound for pound he un- win or he, no? No, Just say I don't. The name I, of the no, guy he that he, Usyk he, beat who's on a pound for pound list, or it's not, he doesn't have a pound for pound win. No, I I don't. He doesn't have one, but unified entire okay. division. Mikey okay, didn't. So I agree, right? So there's different, like there's a different metrics, right? Like not, there's no exact formula. This is an art, not a science. You know what I'm saying? Like, but again, I've brought up examples and 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 points as to just, why Mikey. You just don't like any of my. N- points. No, 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 Gary. I've countered your points quite well here. Okay, you have to admit that here, that your argument of. Mikey has better timing than Pacquiao. That Mikey has better wins recently than Manny Pacquiao. That's not true. I don't agree with you. But I, I, again, I hold on, hold on, Gary, Gary, the, Gary, I mean, Gary, Gary, Gary. Who, who is Mikey's recent win that's better than Keith Thurman? Name the person. He doesn't have a single better win than Thurman. His collection of wins recently is better than Pacquiao's collection of wins. 